Um, so approaching Fulbright alumni who have connections to organizations, I, we have been talking with Shaz and Lisa about this. Um, I, my gut is these calls may connect you. I mean, I've actually thought maybe you come up with a buddy system somehow. There are also chapters. So um, Shaz and Lisa, I, I mean, I know there are ways to connect. I'm, those are two that I've thought of. I don't know if either of you want to comment on that. We have 54 chapters across the US. The easiest way to find them is to go to our website and then click under chapters and you can look and see if you have one in your area. And the best thing to do is just reach out to someone in those chapters. Maybe um, they have a Facebook page or you can use their website to see who the president is and find their email address, which is on our website and just reach out to them. Um, I think that our, especially within this Fulbright network and our chapter leaders are always so welcoming and eager to talk to Fulbrighters and find something in common and talk about your experiences. And I found that in the Fulbright network, people are always willing to share and talk with you about your experiences. And it's just a really great network to take advantage of. So I would definitely encourage using the chapter network and just send the email. Um, we also do have the Fulbrighter app um, so you can go on the Fulbrighter app, you can make a profile and then you'll actually see a map of the world and you can just kind of click around in cities, you can search by content area, and then you can do those cold, um, cold emails or cold messages and just talk about what you have in common and, and you're all Fulbrighters, so you at least can start there and yeah. uh, where you go.